hi, this is your prepper tanker. Here's the situation. Shit has hit the fan, and you have enough food for your family and a safe location. Now, you turn your eyes to power, and you find a way. Maybe there's one set up, or maybe you're able to create your own way. And we'll go over that in a different video. But you find a way to provide a high amount of power for your family. Maybe use hydroelectric, maybe use wood. It doesn't matter. The, uh, the point is, now you turn your eyes to meat or livestock. And the only people willing to trade you meat or livestock or feed are people a good distance away. The issue there is that low voltage does not transmit long distance as well. So we're going to do a quick disclaimer here. High voltage is dangerous. If you do not know how to work with electricity, do not work with it. Okay, this is not an instructional video. This is a basic concept video so you can understand the concept of it and the ideas behind it. So if you want to learn, I recommend you take a course. Electricity can kill you if you're fast, if you're strong, or if you're as big as a goddamn elephant. It doesn't care. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that all of you guys have access to a high voltage transformer right now. It's right in your microwave. Okay, so this is what a microwave transformer looks like. It's uh, it's essentially pretty dangerous still to work with a micro transformer. So I recommend, again, don't do things that you don't know how to do. Um, but all micro transformers look about the same. This is the can in the sky that you're probably used to seeing. These are just regular transformers that you'll see outside your house running from the power lines. Uh, the concept here, though, is think about the ability to transfer and trade hot water or lights for essentially nothing. No, no, no push out of your pocket if you have a good power source coming out of you. So maybe a, uh, a hydroelectric system you have set up that can generate a couple of kilowatts a day. This is not a small system setup. This is for if you have maybe a, well, a 10,000 watt generator in one day. All right, so this is how you calculate your own transformer that you might make. It's the number of turns on the output side, the number of turns putting the out voltage, divided by the number of turns on the input side, which is the number of wraps around the wires that you use on the side of the voltage you're putting in, times the input voltage. And that'll give you what the final output voltage is. Uh, you can divide that by the efficiency, which is essentially how good of a job you did. So this here is a smaller transformer, but all transformers work in similarly or pretty much the exact same way. Uh, right here, the high voltage side, there's a coils right there wrapped around, as I said, and this is the low voltage side with the same wraps uh, going in. There are, four, there are two separate uh, low voltage sides on this guy, but don't worry about that. It's not really important. I connected this one to a speaker here. This is a pretty decent speaker, but uh, it's pretty quiet. She used a larger one in this case. Yeah, but so we'll go right into this. So the transformer you see on here, I've already placed into the container. I just smashed it into this box that I had laying around. Uh, no sponsorship, it's just garbage box I found laying around. So the one on the right will be your transformer. The one on the left will be the transformer at the location you want. Now you're trying to get power from your transformer over to their transformer, okay? So what you wanna do is connect both of the high voltage sides together. Now you do this by running lines from the top of each high voltage side to the top of the other one. So you're trying to make a circuit going from your transformer to theirs, to the other side of theirs, back to the other side of yours. And that's a uh, pretty, pretty easy way to think about it. Now this only works with AC voltage. I'll be using DC today, but that's because uh, I have a crappy motor and it really won't make a difference for this uh, demonstration. So I'm just gonna be connecting these. Give me one second. Uh, I would be soldering them, but I don't have solder I want to use on this. And plus I'd like to take these apart later on. I'll twist them on there. Uh, actually, you know, I'll just skip ahead for you guys. Okay, here's the setup. It's essentially exactly as I uh, I was saying earlier. So you have the two transformers set up. You have the lines going across, and they're connected to on both sides the high voltage ends. So the voltage comes in, gets stepped up, sent along the line, down and out. Again, voltage in, step up, transmission, 
stepped down, bought it out for usage. That is essentially how all uh, systems work. Some other systems have more steps than that. Okay, now I'm going to try to do a uh, quick setup for this with you guys so you can see. Essentially, exact same setup I showed earlier. Um, the wires are connected ex essentially exactly the same. This is my generator, which is just literally a hand crank generator that I made in the last video. Uh, and this is the speaker, which will be creating a, uh, a small sound. The hand crank speaker in this side is DC, but it's a bad DC motor, so it, it'll work just fine for this case uh, for a demonstration. All right, so as I wind it, you would get a sound. Uh, you can't hear it now, but I'm going to overlay it in a second because it was pretty quiet while I was running it. Here you go. Okay, this is some stuff you should really learn right here. Uh, this right here is the symbol for schematic and of a uh, transformer. Now, you should probably recognize these so you can draw them out when you're trying to think things through yourself. This right here is how you calculate the voltage drop of your line, depending on how long your line is and the resistance of your line. I'll, set, I'll give you guys a chart at the end of this. And this is a schematic that I hopefully... Uh, explain to you guys for the most this does have some different things that I didn't show but the concept is pretty much exactly the same um, and all right here's a chart that will hopefully help you guys out take care